we're gonna spin it four times, and whatever we're gonna land on is gonna become a poll. So you guys will have the final vote. <gasps> Edith Finch? Oh! I played Red Remains of Edith Finch a long time ago. I remember I was in a bad headspace back then. I didn't have the mental capacity for a game like that. And I just really rushed it, didn't enjoy it for what it was, and always regretted it. Gameplay-wise, it's an incredible game. It shows so many different, like, completely different art styles. It's a very diverse and very impressive game. Oh, I can't walk, though. Oh. I broke my hand. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Is that a good level for you guys? I could, um, let's try a thing. Just put the music down. Sound effects down a little bit, but we'll keep the voices strong, you know? Oh, that is pretty. Wait, this game came out five years ago? Look at the colors. Oh, pretty. That's so pretty. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Is that better, the audio? No, is that the mailbox? That's so cute. Who made that? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Mm. Can the voice be louder? Yeah, I could. I could turn up the volume a little bit. Um, let me just I know- I have back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Is that better? Just let me know if the ambiance is too loud. Because I can turn that down a little bit. <laughs> the, the, they're all over the floor! <laughs> oh no, who's gonna clean it? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, who's gonna clean up the letters? But No trespassing. This property is protected by video surveillance. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Don't shoot. Better? It's good? Okay. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. <laughs> oh. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The finches. That sounds like a bird. A finch? Is that a bird? Oh, can you imagine? Just living in the middle of the woods like that. A vink. Oh, vink! In Dutch it's a vink. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Hoof prints? I just want to look at these leaves. Look at that foliage! This is one of those mystery Airbnbs. <gasps> Hello. Oh, oh, power lines. Do you think the house still has power? I, I legit, I don't. I the only have. Is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Huh. I, I only remember a, a couple flashes of the game, and that's it. Milton Finch missing. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Does everything look good? Is there like, um, there's no like screen tearing or anything? So I could maybe look at some settings. If the so. house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. What a massive house. 
Also, I don't think you're allowed to build like that. <laughs> I don't... I think you would need, like, planning permits. <laughs> Wouldn't they, like, deem this structurally, like, dangerous or something? <laughs> so dark. I can barely see anything here. Looks so good for an old game. It looks amazing. That's why I was like, wait, this game is five years old? Especially these little green guys. They look so cute. Should I go up here? As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Hmm. It looks like uh, the Weasley house, though. It looks so cozy. As a dream, you kind of like... As a dream? As a child, you kind of like dream of having like... A crazy house with like so many like weird twisty corridors and like secrets at every corner. Right? At least I now. do. As a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Hmm. Wait, she's 17 now. God, what a lovely place. Do you think they get many spiders? I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh, shit. Then what are we gonna do? Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. They left so much stuff. Anyone read the twisted ones? <laughs> like, you know when we played unpacking and I just had a great time like sorting stuff? Um, the Twisted Ones is like the start of the book, like that's not a spoiler, it's like on the back of the book. So the, the start of the book is that this girl comes in to clean up her grandmother's house. And like the grandmother was a bit of a hoarder, so there's like stuff everywhere. But honestly, I would, I would kind of want to like, you know, take just like, have a house like that, just take like a month off and just like spend all the time cleaning like a house like that and sorting everything oh, that would be so satisfying to do Ooh. that's nice Are you going to go in through the doggy door? <laughs> Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Wait, wouldn't that mean that like... Tons of like raccoons or something could be in the house? Wouldn't they like... Come in for the shelter? The power had been turned off the night we left. Does it look good? Do I need to turn up the brightness, maybe? No, it looks good, doesn't it? The music is nice. Wait, can we turn on the power somewhere? For the first time in years... I was home. I felt like I was home. <laughs> God, yeah, can you- this house doesn't even seem messy at all, but like, I would love to like, go through all the books, put them in boxes, organize them. But instead of a family, they were just memories of one. Edith, Edie, Don, and Lewis. Hm. In loving memory of Lewis. Oh, the boy? Beloved brother to Edith. Hmm. 
A Viking's Belly. Tasting Thailand. Oh, they're all cookbooks. Weird recipes. The Holiday Feast, which is kitchen. Pacific Pantry. Taming the Sea, a fisherman's guide. <laughs> Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. <laughs> or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Phoebe doesn't like salmon that much. Apple pie. Like this kind of... I feel like you have to keep this though, especially if there's so many like personalized notes in the cookbooks. Um, my sister went through months and months of trying to recreate one of my grandma's recipes um, after my grandma died and grandma just never gave out the recipe. <laughs> and then by the time she got really old, she was, was just too old to remember. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad. Um, she? I would say she honestly kind of improved the recipe in the end. Like, it, it's really close to how Grandma made it, but it's a little, like, better. Like, the consistency is a little better. Um, there's some rum in it, and there's definitely... So we would go to my grandma's place every Sunday when we were kids and grandma always, every Sunday without fail, would make that a, a certain like, uh, it's not a pie, it's more like a cake for us. Um, and we tried to, so my sister tried, she's really, she's a really good cook and she really wanted to make that cake after grandma passed and she tried for like years and now she's kind of like perfected it but it's better than grandma made it because grandma put way too much rum in it. <laughs> and we were not even that old, but it was like some days you could really tell like, oh, this is like really alcoholic. <laughs> and now when my sister makes it, it's like perfectly, everything is like perfectly measured, you know, so it's like the perfect taste. But when grandma made it, like some weeks it was kind of like, more liquidy. Some weeks it was kind of like, eh, and then other weeks it was like really alcoholic. <laughs> but it was great. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Hmm. But yeah, obviously I had a very, very sweet grandma who just looked forward to us coming over every Sunday and was like... Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Ew, that's creepy. Did she have a pen? Oh, and you have this view too? Hold on a minute. You have like a complete forest on one side and then an ocean or lake lake view on the other side how lucky are you well i guess their family's not lucky at all but this location god damn even the fireplace had a story edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank hmm. this is a cool table big tree I know so many awful things happened in this house, but it looks so cozy. Ooh, I take it back. Ooh. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. I tried. Barbara. Oh, oops. I think I have to turn it. Ah, there we go. Bigfoot! Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Hmm. Barbara Finch. She was an actress. It 
So who's the bug collector? Ah, back in the kitchen. Hmm. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. So both her, so one of her brothers died and then the other brother went missing? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Hmm. Whoa. What is this? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. What? That's scary. There's so many things in this house that I'm like, ah, oh, can you imagine if you organize this neatly and then put it over the arch like that, the books? That would be so cool. <laughs> that baby. <laughs> Should we go up? After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Hmm. Wait. Oh. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. But it's so pretty. What? Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I read that book. Oh, <gasps> that's what it opened. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. No. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. What? Can you imagine? OK, wait, uh, I need to look around a bit more. So so the grandma made these peepholes? Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. That's so creepy, though. Especially because the rooms are locked off. Um, has anyone seen Pulse? There's this idea that in my Japanese tattoo artist told me that stale air is like dangerous because it can invite like the dead, basically. So he said that if you ever have a room that you're not using, you should at least put an analog clock in it because the the hands ticking will keep the air in the room moving. So seeing this house with like all the rooms locked up, but then like a, a peephole into the room is just so creepy. <laughs> so we can look in all of these. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Edith Senior. Hmm. Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. <gasps> That's honestly pretty creepy. Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Hmm. Do you want to elaborate on that? Oh, they're even like foamed up. Th these doors are not. Oh, because they don't have locks on them. Jeez. That's creepy. Barbara, the movie star. 1960. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. Hmm. Ooh, wine. Pinot Noir. Oh, it's not that old.
Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Oh. Okay, I think... Whenever people ask me about my family, the hmm. first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. So she was in a Bigfoot movie as a kid. <laughs> That's oddly cute. Oh, God, I can't get over that view. I'm so jealous right now. I have, like, serious house envy seeing this. Okay, I think uh, we've seen most of the things that we could have seen now. From the paintings on the wall, it was Milton. clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Milton, the one who went missing? Milton was the one, the brother who went missing, right? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Oh, the controller is buzzing. I hope, sometimes when you unplug a controller, okay. The games can, like, freeze up, but we're good. Ooh, creepy elves. Oh, but, like, cat, bunny, and duck? Ooh, creepy. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Oh, we looked at this room, didn't we? Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Hmm. Molly. That has a house layout? What is that back there? Looks like a ladder going into the water. 1947. December 13th, 1947. Hmm? Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Don't eat the hamster. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. <laughs> Where's the gerbil, though? Huh? Where'd he go? Do you have fish food? I thought about... Don't eat the fish. Back it up, little girl. <laughs> You're not that hungry. Oh, I can barely see anything. Can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Hmm. Are you gonna take the secret door? I kept eating and eating. Don't eat the toothpaste. No! That ta There's no way that tastes good. No, 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 no. That's you can't eat that. Is she gonna eat the fish? I ate a lot of things that night. I don't think you can eat those. Aren't they poisonous? Aren't they bad for you? Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Uh -oh. And suddenly... I was a cat! Oh. Oh. Uh oh. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. How do I... Ah. Oh, I get it now. Well, 
Well, this makes me nervous for cats. She was getting really tired. Huh? Oh, piggies. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Sad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All uh, I cared about was eating that mama bird. So it's actually her. I gobbled her up. Oh. And suddenly. I was an owl. Huh. First, all I heard was the wind. Then Whoa. I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh god, I'm like controlling the owl. Did I get anything? Rabbits. Where? Oh. Whoa! his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. <sighs> then I flew off to find something bigger. Is this because she ate toothpaste? <laughs> Are you like in fluorite town? Is your brain melting? A mama rabbit! She was almost too big to carry. Oh. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. He... And suddenly, I was a shark! But there's no water. <laughs> um, yeah, how am I gonna get out of this? Oh! Come on. <laughs> I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. <laughs> now, I was hungrier than ever. Okay. What is it? Is it like a I wanted fat oh, see. juicy seals. Wait, where'd he go? Whoa, what's that? Cool. That is so much more interesting than the series. Do I just swim into it? Eek! I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. No, poor seal. Oh, there she goes. Oh, I missed her. She go here? Oh, there. Grabbed on tight. So hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Is it because she got the she ate the berries? Oh, what am I? What? Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Ah. Uh... What? I thought that was a person here. I 
I was big, but I moved real quiet. There. Yes! Ah! Hey. I wanted to stop, but also I did it. The good smell. Oh. Oh. Where are we going? I got closer and closer. Oh, we're back in our own room. Something under the bed. All my stomachs started growling. All my stomachs. <laughs> and All suddenly, of them. I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep, but it's not going to wait much longer. She definitely ate the berries. What a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. So that was the first one we found. Oh wait, okay, so it goes like up is more modern times. Lewis, Milton, and Edith. And then we have Don and Gus. Gregory. Kate. Okay. I'm trying to close it, but there we go. Oh, Pacific Ocean depth chart. So it's like all stuff that she imagined she has like around here chasing the cat or chasing the bird with the cat i thought i saw a cat did you guys see that i thought i saw a cat on the branch wait can we go out oh we're out we're out the window this will be obvious later but my mom never told me any of these stories you um, would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. I would feel so unsafe so, walking up this. When we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Ooh, I name? spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Oh, that's a nice chair. Shrine sketches. Oh, did she have a little portrait for every bird that died that she owned? Is that a snake? <laughs> Burpee, Bob, Derpy, <laughs> Rob, Lurpy, Purply. <laughs> what does it say? I can't see. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year. Furpy. Just in time to replace the old ones. 
Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Hmm. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. Norway? And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house hoping to leave the curse behind. Takes the whole house. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Hmm. Guess, have you guys seen the Deep House horror movie? Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Hmm. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. That is, is that the gravestone? Wow. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Hmm. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Hmm. The Mysteries of Death and Thereafter, Odin Finch. Hmm. Joining the Great Majority. Oh, that's cool. The birds coming out of the- oh, it's their house! And then the birds coming out of the painting. Wow. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. <laughs> she could have, but she didn't. Dragon kills Finch. Tragedy strikes at Finch family pond. Celebration turns to mourning. Dragon near the pond. Is that him falling? So he was like construction. 1937 by Sven. Ah. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. No tower yet on the house. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Hmm. Edith Jr. lake trip. My friend Bigfoot, there it is again. <laughs> Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to like this grandma. <laughs> Norwegian folk tales. Wait, so Odin and Ingborg are like the first two of the Finch that we know of. And then they had a daughter called Edie. And then she's the Edie like third generation. Is that how it is? Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Hmm. Whoa. What is this carpet? Oh god, in the bathroom too. Ooh. Oh, glasses. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Hmm. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie. Wait, so the the key opens all There's the secret, secret passages? In this bathroom. Uh-huh. It's in the last place you would look. 
It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. What? That is so cool. It's a dark room? Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. How is she not... Oh, I guess it's a lot of death in the family. But I was like, how is she not more excited about finding all this? But I guess if it's all connected to death, then it's not that great, huh? Milton again. Couple turns land into a native haven. Port Calvin. So the grandma was the one or one of the ones that was painting all the time, right? So she painted all the doors. I don't see why you would unlock all the doors. Marine Corps. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Hmm. Oh. Wait, can I go here? Oh, maybe that's where I go. I guess Command my grandpa didn't Simpson. like history any more than my mom did. Oh. Oh, there's the thing again. The the ones that grandma paints. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. <laughs> Wait, am I? Oh, I can do both legs. My brother said he'd uh, die before he ate another mushroom. Oh, I'm doing it. And he did. He died before he ate At another Barbara's mushroom. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Oh, no. Oh, Mom! no! Calvin! Dinner's ready! Stop. Coming! <laughs> but that day... He finally made up his mind to do it. Uh-oh. So we're still going? I'm getting dizzy looking at the ground. He's gonna fly. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh god. Oh god. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh god. Oh! Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Jeez. I think oh, he was already. Scary. Made That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh god. Oh, he did it! The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Oh god, so he just was playing on a swing and fell off the cliff? Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Damn. Ugh, that was scary. It made me dizzy. Funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. 
Edie did that. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Hmm. It's so cool to have so many things built into the house. Well, it would also make me paranoid, I guess. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. We were there. to Barbara's room? Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Seattle starlets. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. To think you're gonna be a star and then it goes nowhere? Of all the Barbara stories Fish. people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. This is what I remember. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <laughs> Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But mm. in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but hmm. I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... Oh, God. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. <laughs> Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The oh. secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Oh. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. Ooh. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. Scary. Oh, God. House invasion. Ooh. She reached for the music box. No. Wait, am I doing it? I am. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Mm. No, God, no. Oh, God, this is so good. Mm. 
棒棒。It's actually the music. I think that got that gets copyright claimed, but let's enjoy it while we can. Oh, this is so weird. It's like the game, but comic book style. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Doctor Carl. Hookman Killer. Oh, someone used the saw. See anything here though? Oh. oh no, the fridge. Oh dear. Uh, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> you don't scream. You say, "Oh dear." <laughs> Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then huh? act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. One of his Barb, crutches? Have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Okay, hmm. I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh. There's a skeleton back there? <laughs> it's just standing there. <laughs> oh? Don't hit your little brother. Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orcas Island police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock Hooky hook face. and notify the police of any suspicious activity. No, Barbie, I'm behind you! Saw the hook man and was speechless. No scream. He was quite smashing. Oh. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. Is this the the water room that we were in? That night, she played her part. So cool. I'm surprised no one else has tried this style, like do like a comic and then to go panel by panel. It's so cool. Molly's door. Smack him. <laughs> Smack him again. She did it. But she sensed the story might not be over yet. Time to call the police? God, I feel like this is a uh, Halloween music is playing, so we're gonna go downstairs and then when we get there, he's gone. We should like go out the front door right now or call the cops somewhere. Go out the door. He's gonna be gone. I'm telling you. Mm. The had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Is that the ex boyfriend? Oh god, I feel like I'm about to get attacked. From inside the house. Hmm. Behind you. Oh dear. 
<laughs> I like that she just goes, oh dear, and doesn't scream. She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. Huh. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. Was magnificent. Mm -hmm. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. Oh. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. Oh. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. Oh God! As Barbara, tucked inside the music box, is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be based on something that actually happened, right? So like, oh, someone actually like broke into the house and killed her. And killed the boyfriend. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Hmm. That's dark. Love the voice actor. Yeah. Think the boyfriend did it? Could be. If he was really like an obsessive fan trying to get her to scream. To the point where we, he was hiding in the basement um, to try and get her to do it. Um, oh, I guess we can go to the basement now then. I guess that's why we can exit I into the I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Do you think there was actually an ear in it at one point? I, I don't feel like you would have kept it then though. Do you? Oh. So it comes off as a key. Mm. Huh. And that's her little Bigfoot role that made her famous. Huh. Do you think we'll find a fridge at the end? Do you think they got permission for that Halloween music? Oh, this is where they were all made. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> Lots of tools. There's the dragon slide. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Packages of what? <gasps> the fridge is here! I thought maybe she was hiding presents. But what was she doing actually? Is it a door? Oh, it's not a fridge. A more than that. I can barely see sometimes. It's so dark. Yes, thank you. Let's... I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Are you guys also getting a she little said bit after motion died, sick? He got as far away as he could. I think for me it's like I'm like walking around and then the text it like forces you to focus on it like it pulls the camera to the text and I think that movement that I'm not in control of for me is like Ugh.
It's like when you do VR and like the focus point is off or if like it's a, a little bit delayed. Stories, that's what it reminds me of. Wait. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. This was all in the basement. They stocked up on everything. Walter. Ooh, train. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. Wait, who was here for 30 years? But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Walter? Having a schedule. Oh, okay. 1952 to 2005. Living for today. Peaches. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. I had. A funny if you thing wait is, long enough, you get used to anything. When I was a kid, I would get canned peaches all the time, and now I never have anything canned anymore. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost oh. friendly. Wait, so this is the kid who hid under the bed while when Barbara was murdered? Okay, yeah, sorry, there's so many names, I have a hard time keeping track. And then one day, everything just... stopped. Stopped? Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Isn't it hard to get a radio signal underground? It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have what? to leave. Well, I still can. I'm so confused. What made him go down here? The shaking? He thinks there's a monster. He went down after his sister died. But what's the shaking? Oh, we'll find out? Oh, okay. Guess it's a mystery for now. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Hmm. And Molly. And Calvin. Down here. Trash? Is that his trash pile? Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. It's 30 years. Oh. Whatever's out there, I want you to know. I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. <laughs> Canned peaches for 30 years. I don't mind years. if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. No. He finally got out and then got hit by a train. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. 
Oh, his little beard and his can. So they knew he was down there, but it, it was just the only way he could he could cope with what happened to him. And then <laughs> she made a little shrine with his can opener and his peaches. I I remember I know exactly what pe canned peach tastes like. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Mm-hmm. Fake window. He's the mole man. Oh, that grandma talked about that lives under the house. Yeah. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Mm. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Mm. Is she pregnant? What happened to everyone else? But now I'm worried one, the stories themselves two. might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Shrine. So there used to be like a train going through this whole bit. Yeah, it looks like a ladder, doesn't it, back there? Maybe. <laughs> you want to leave this time? I already forgot he was here. I don't again. know if I should even be riding <laughs> this. Maybe so it'd be better if all this just died with me. So she's writing this now for maybe her baby? Maybe? But I thought you should know about your family. Wow. And the history you're a part of. What a shot. Oh, you can't see the house. So we just came from there. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Yeah, I don't remember the story at I all, think so... The people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Plus, um, other viewers might ha have never seen the game before, so let's try and keep spoilers to a minimum. Let's just enjoy it and go through the story. Now we get to walk all the way back. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of you know, it seems possible. What I'm thinking is like if that great grandfather or whoever it was, um, Odin, if Odin was wealthy enough in the early 1900s to try and move his house over like water they must have gotten they must have been really rich right so maybe they made like a deal with the devil and that's why they're all dying pretty young 
<laughs> it does kind of fit. I'm not excluding it at this point. Cause like who who would even do that in the 30s? Like wouldn't you I just think like we've been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it. Wouldn't you just build a new house? I, it seems so unnecessarily expensive to move what to kind actually of family move your whole building house. A cemetery before starting the house. Hmm. Oh, everyone is. Here. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more oh, uncomfortable cemetery. than the human one. Wait, there's pet cemetery. Oh. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. It's the birds! Derpy, burpy, chirpy, furpy, lurpy, and zerpy. <laughs> the birds are buried here. Grandma's birds. Wow. They had a lot of pet pets. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Hmm. Oh god, they're all actually here. Molly. Calvin. Sven. <laughs> the song. Edie. 2010. Walter, Barbara. So many names, I have a hard time remembering all of them. So yeah, Sven built it, then died by the slide, the dragon slide. Edie was the grandma who was, got really old. She lived a really long time. Molly was the kid who ate the berries, right? And then had the dream about eating things. Calvin was the kid on the swing who wanted to fly and then Walter was the man under the house there's a tiny tiny little figurine in the hole Barbara is the child star who then um eaten by monsters. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Ah, uh, here it is. The house that sank and then him on it. Because Odin died with the house, right? And then they went on and built their house here. Their new house. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, the house is right there. Oh, there. He Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Hmm. Do we just go back? Edie's side was always easier right. for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. That's such good game design, how it like leads you down one path and then it naturally leads you back down the other. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Sam, Greg, and goes, oh, 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 what a little, like, those little complaints. Did you hear that? You want to go? His meows lately have gotten a little more, like, complainy, but it's so cute. How he's just like, uh. Oh. <laughs> so cute. Wait, okay, Sam, Gregory, and Gus. Sam, Gregory, and Gus. So, wait, 
Were they all brother and sisters? Because we know Barbara and Walter were brother and sister, but... 44... Four, she died when she was 10. She was only 16! I thought she was much older. 11... 33... And... 53? Sam is Edith Jr.'s grandfather. Okay. So, was Sam the only one out of all of these siblings who had kids? Himself? Yeah. Damn. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Mm. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Hmm. That's, that's actually really nice, yeah. Okay, sorry, I just, it's just so many... San I saw Sanjay. Yeah, why is Sanjay like separate? They like married into the family? Like Sven. Oh, yeah, that's like married. So Sam and Kay maybe had Don, Gus, and Gregory. Yeah, spouse. Where's Milton? Here. So Edith has two brothers, Milton and Lewis, who went missing and died. But I don't think we know yet how. Okay. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> God, cool. I never house. would have come when I was but... twenty two weeks pregnant. Yeah, okay, now it's confirmed. Uh, what are you doing? If there's a family curse, what are you doing? Walking on like a slim tree branch like that. I would not trust anything. I'd be like Final Destination all the time. I'd be like, don't eat fish because you might choke on the bone. <laughs> I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Don't go out when it snows. Maybe you'll slip and fall and knock your head, like bump your head or something. If it's slippery out. They were both oh. pretty intense. Whose room did we find? Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Hmm. <laughs> the U.S. Marines. Lord is here. Yay! Thank you. The Edith Finch? Yeah. I'm oh. playing it again. Wow. It's really good so far. Did you find out what remains of her yet? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. Oh, These no. Hunting accident. Mm -hmm. Am I going to have to shoot anything? Mm. It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. 
Ah. Yes. Help me with my drowsiness. No, no wait, drowsy is not the word. Well, also a little drowsy, but nausea. Although now motion sickness, that's the word. Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Don, then we can take off. How do I do that? Ah, you can zoom. What? Perfect. Hmm. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. <laughs> That's the She's spirit. so cute. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. No. Oh. I'm just saying. I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. That's so I'll be nice. fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Dad! Good eyes, Don. Oh. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... Just breathe. Wow. God, I feel like I'm actually taking the pictures. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. If I wouldn't want to survive, do that. You'll need to be strong. Great shot, Don. Oh, you took a picture of that like that? <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? I feel like you shouldn't bring kids out to kill a deer or anything really oh oh god I need to make it for the picture oh god I can't see where I am dad it's twitching I think That's it's totally so normal Don just focus on the camera try not to think about dad! it oh oh god that's bad. Yeah, I would all these not. Stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Like, if you want to go out and hunt and shoot things, fine. I won't stop you. But I, I wouldn't put kids through that. Unless they're like, I don't know, 16 and older and like, they are asking if they can come hunting or something, but even then I'm like, I don't know. If that happened to me as a kid, I would be so convinced that that was nature's revenge. I would not. I would spend the rest of my life trying to like redeem myself and help nature. <laughs> what kind of lock is that? Axe by the bed. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Hmm. That cat. Did he taxidermy one of their cats? God, it's so dark in here now. Kay Finch. Airline ticket. Oh, that's a nice idea for a necklace holder. Okay, let's... Hmm. Let's go here. <laughs> Just finished the game two days ago. What? The timing! Meals ready to eat. After Sam both? died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Hmm. 
Wait, went after Sam died, my mom. Oh, oh, so wait, the blonde girl we saw on the hunting trip is her mother? It's just such a big family, I'm like continuously trying to like figure out who is who. Oh no, baby. That's true. I saw someone who was like one. Gregory. Oh yeah, 76 to 77. So Don's the mom's brother. Oh, that's so sad. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Mm. Oh, this one. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Hmm. Am I doing anything? Playing with Froggy. Oh! -ho. Got tend over Gregory. It's time to. Hold on, sweetie. Was that normal back Hello? in the 70s? You just Sam, I told you leave I your baby you unsupervised now. in the... I mean, I know there's not that much water in the bathtub, but still. Oh, I'm moving them. Whee! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. Lost in his imagination. <laughs> Whatever it was, he saw. Whoa. Hee <laughs> hee. Can we bring the the whale into play? Yeah! It sure made him Yeah! Happy. All the things to play. Here, let me help you out. There you go. <laughs> He's so cute. Whoa! Oh, there's something up there. There we go. What's that do? But I worried about a baby being too happy. I worried about a baby being too happy. But I could feel him slipping away. Damn, that's so dark. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. He didn't drown. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. I don't want Gregory to hear this. Gregory's one. He's not gonna remember any call. Oh. I wish he could have told us. Mm. About the world he saw. Oh no. Big letters. <laughs> it kind of looks like Subnautic. <laughs> Can you see it? But I know what happened wasn't her fault. I'm sure he's happy. 
Isn't that why you put babies in like he'd want you to be happy those to tiny him. baby bats? Good luck, Kay. So this stuff can't happen. Love, Sam. Poor Gregory. No, playing with this froggy. That's such a sad one. Teamwork, respect, strength. Is there anything in these? A helmet? Dawn. Gus. Huh. Oh, they slept here together? I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard Excuse me? Dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. My f our father never hit us, at least not very hard. That's like a scary thing to say. Ah. Wait. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Hmm. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now pronounce you husband and wife. There was a tent there. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> the wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Hmm. Shouldn't. It's dangerous to be out though with a storm, isn't it? Like even if it's in a tent. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Yeah. Oh, is it gonna fly in there? All the stuff. No. Doesn't matter. The thunder sounded Ooh. much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was make the music louder. Definitely family curse. Yep. 100% your family's curse. I wish that. Hoo <laughs> I wish that I could truly say I thought Whoa. about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. Oh. But I didn't. Until we found you. Wait, so he just got killed in the storm? She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Hmm. So how old was Gus? 13? The tent hit him, yeah. So the wind swept up the tent and then killed him. 
with sympathy. All the cards are still here. Duties done. Sweep trash. Mop mow yard. Be a baby. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. Poor Gregory. Ooh, a climbing wall in your house? God damn. Can we climb that? My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Oh yeah, some families that just happens though. My um my dad's side, like two generations up, I know they had a ton of death as well, where it was like one died as a baby, then the other one had like died from diabetes or something. And like God, it's awful things. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Sanjay. So Don and Sanjay. Ah. Why is it removed from the branch, I wonder? Why is it not attached to the branch? Like Sven is separate as well. Fly to India. Wait, so she's still... No, there's no bed here. Because it said she moved up to the loft, but... Did she... Yeah, she definitely didn't sleep down there. Can we slide there? Woo! It had to be done. Now I need to go back up, but it had to be done. <laughs> My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis hmm. was born a year later. Wow. Solar panels? When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Mm. And to see kids in the house again. Ah. Uh, so that's not why she came back. God, it's so sad though. So much death. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Hmm. Do you think they were homeschooled? What a place to be homeschooled, though. But it Damn. didn't last. Reading is a hoot. <laughs> sure is. I'm like halfway through... Um, my best friend's exorcism. I think that's the title. I like it so far. But it's definitely a bit more sad than I thought the book was going to be. Oh, family picture. Cute. Relief efforts end in disaster. Hundreds of relief volunteers are injured or dead after the effects of a second earthquake. <sighs> Observation duty. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Mm. Who built it? Probably check this first. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Hmm. 
That's so cool, though, that you can see the, the house that was supposed to be here in the water. Oh, it opens. Okay. You would think that if they went as far as to lock the doors, they would also lock the windows. Wait. We didn't restore power to the house, did we? Or is this section solar powered on its own? The little footprints. Oh, big door painting. Hmm. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Hmm. No, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> You gonna climb? Oh, it's like an, an elevator. A winch. Winch? Winch? Oh, Milton. Okay, let's have a look. The magic Milton paintbrush. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. <laughs> ah, the door. That would be so creepy. Someone like leaves that and then disappears forever. And disappeared. That's like God, the mystery. Mom spent months searching for my brother, then she sealed the doors. I wonder why she sealed the doors. I wonder if that was like her way of keeping the curse out or something. Whatever maybe... Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Oh, right, the cannery. The salmon. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. Were they like, you know, let's just like put a boat right on top of the house. Lewis's I still don't know. Smelled very, oh. very familiar. I didn't mean to. That part of him lived on. <laughs> Smelled very familiar. I think I know what smell she's talking about. Oh, and he's a gamer. Lewis the Wonderland and I spent a lot of time Turbo. playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Hmm. That's definitely PlayStation inspired. Those memory cards. 
What tape is there? Dawn Poetry Recital. Hmm. Wait, what was he doing here? Lewis's locker contents. Institute of Psychology. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son mm. to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly okay. sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh God. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. Yeah, I mean, no. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His I wouldn't feel good to... doing that with fish all day. How do I? What do I do? His mind began to what? Oh wait, maybe it's Wonder. Ah. Oh, it's a little dude. Oh, I didn't see it. Dude needs like a podcast or like a book to listen to. Although, what year was this? The 80s? 90s? So he's probably working here in 90s, beginning 2000s, yeah. God, you didn't have what we have now, like... We're so spoiled for entertainment these days. I know this makes me sound so old, but... We are blessed to live in the 2020s, where there are podcasts, Spotify... YouTube is so big now. Multitask. I <laughs> know I'm supposed to, but that's why I'm pausing the game. We are literally so spoiled for choice nowadays. Like, I am reading this book right now on my e-reader and you can store so many books on it. And then when I go into town, I walk. So I put the, the audiobook version of my book on so I can still read my book as I'm going somewhere. Honestly, I, I'm happy I didn't have social media when I was a kid. The world was a lot simpler back then. Okay. I'll play. I asked him to describe it. I'm trying he to multitask he here. Small. Imagining a labyrinth. This should be a game dev. This is so hard for me. He'd feel his way about. Uh huh. Then something moved. Bats. Bats. And toads. Whoa. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. There's a fish. Blocking the way. Oh, not anymore. But he took it very seriously. Oh, I the walls are getting textured. But he found oh. something more. Oh, 3D. I worried about him then. Uh -huh. Daydreaming at the cannery. I mean, can I spoke you blame with him? his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, if he seems to be doing his work perfectly, and he's seeing a psychiatrist regularly. I don't think anyone would like. It seemed very promising at first. <gasps> no. 
girl. He told me he'd made a new friend. This is like buddy sim. You coming with me, bud? On the edge of a city named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. <laughs> Wait, where'd the dog go? And he made musicians. <laughs> Those dudes. <laughs> so cute. And songs for them to play. Talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Oh, the fish. He no longer spoke at the cannery. Oh, he's just like retreating but completely. But his shopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. What? That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Mm -hmm. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. <laughs> and he won. <laughs> Mario. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Wow. God damn. Oh, I'm not chopping He'd my conquer fish a city, then immediately push on. New Lewis. <laughs> New Louisville. Trying not to. St. Louis. St. Louis. <laughs> Trying not to crash the boat. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one <laughs> Minneapolis. Day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Oh, he's completely, like, detached now. He can't even see his mom trying to get him out of it. Wouldn't you, as his mom... Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Beautiful prince. Wouldn't his mom force him to... Like, talk Beautiful to the boss place. and make him quit his job then? Take him out of the environment? Whoa, we're sailing through the paint. The prince was on his own quest for... Rainbows! It is the month. Radiant it is the month rainbows. for rainbows. Yes! Ah, no! I refuse! No! Go back, go back, go back! No! I missed the rainbow. Ah, it's a sad day. No! I'm knocking them all over. He followed the sound of his... Silver heart. Silver heart. Happy Pride, yeah. <laughs> We're a man at a canning factory looking for his prince. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. It's like gradually taking over the Even screen. then, his logic remained so Oh, it's gone now. Oh, God. He knew the world was all in Dude, his imagination. Dude, you're gonna chop your hand off at some point. I'm so scared you're gonna chop your hand off. I feel like at that point you like need to 
start writing or something. You need to put this in writing. Become a programmer. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Does he even still go to his sessions? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Oh, God. I mean, that is a... I don't know if there's a word for that, but it definitely happens, right? That my imagination like... is as real as my body, he told me. Like, I've heard of... Like kids jumping off things because they think that they're Peter Pan and they can fly, they just have to prove it. Or like people thinking that they're in. Wasn't there like a big thing one time someone thought they were in Final Fantasy? They just had to like make it there. Like people have definitely had that with games. It's hard they, to argue with him. They just start believing that the games are real. Is it delusions? Disassociation. Oh. Wait. We're not in the... Oh. He began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Wait, is he walking towards himself? Like an out-of-body experience? Ugh, I'm so worried he's he gonna like, to stick his head in the cutter or something. Contempt. Finch. I still thought I could save him. He's gone. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. I feel like... Wouldn't you have gotten him fired from his job and put him in, like... Observation much sooner? The palace would be packed with his companions. those dancing dudes. Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. Like if the mom comes to work to try and talk him out of it and he and he completely ignores her and then the the psychologists like notices that she's losing him little by little, wouldn't you? I don't know, I feel like she would have probably like his prince waited, holding his warned him much sooner. Oh no, it's a guillotine. There was only one thing left to do. Oh god. down his head. It's all the more sad because it he really did create a great world. It seems like it, there's a lot of talent. Oh, look rest, away. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your <sighs> son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. His prince waited, holding his crown. I feel like a psychologist wouldn't write a letter like that, but... My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. That's so sad. Ugh, that's the saddest one, I think. 
that really that one really makes you feel like you want to help him out or something like that one really makes you feel like if I had just done something it feels like everyone hears his cries for help but no one does anything that's what it feels like it's really sad on the way back from Lewis's funeral my mom told me to start packing she, she waited until the day before we left to tell Edie you can't blame your mom, though. There's so much death in this house. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. Really? I don't know. I don't think I would have wanted to stay in a house like this. Left. Don Finch. Kitchen. Arca's Island. Honestly, if I had a family like this that went through so My many mom things, ended up leaving everything behind. yeah, I would feel like this area is cursed. I would one hundred percent believe it was cursed. If that much stuff happens to your family, I will be 100% a believer. Ah, oh, she wrote a book. You have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths that yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Damn. No, oh, she kept the vest. Oh, that's so sad. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. So did they take the grandma with them? But it had to end one way or another. Wow. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Wait, this was her room all the way in the top? There's that picture again. Oh, that's the little um, soldier man that her brother was dreaming of. So. Maybe her brother made these. He must have. Huh. Who? That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night. Oh, together, right. And all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open? The grown-ups have to argue now. No. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Ooh. That's so scary when parents are fighting. <laughs> the power the had hallway. been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom said the library, I don't think she down. knew about the other entrance. Hmm. Or that Edie had a key to it. So what's the present? I love her little knitted gloves that she that wears. Thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Can't blame her again. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best 
if Edith and I leave tonight. God. I, it's so... The mom has a point, though. Like, she needs to try and get along we'll with her. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Oh, she leaves her here for the night? I can see why... I can see where the mom is coming from with the stories, seeing what happened to one of her sons. I, I get, like, having a son getting lost in stories, literally, and then the grandma can't stop. Oh. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. Mm. That night, the tide went way, way out. <gasps> You're gonna go to the house? It was the first and last time I ever ever saw the old house aground. Oh my god. That would be so cool. There'd been cool. an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. That is so cool. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Ooh, scary, no! You didn't bring a light or anything? I got turned around. Oh, that's now it's scary. I thought you were going straight to that house, but what if the tide comes For back? For a in? while, I wondered. I started seeing things. <laughs> I wonder if animals would wander in, or if the smell things would like. I'd forgotten had ever existed. Is it a bit? But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Whoa. Or maybe I came back to them. Ah, the little gate. What's oh, that's like the little car thing. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try yeah. and Edith, what are you doing in here? <gasps> it's mine. Edith! No! Oh, you're gonna rip it, let go! Oh no. I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. You never got to finish it? Oh god. How did she not? I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Oh, uh, no way! The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Holy shit! Oh, After that's that, so we dark. A lot. She tried to stay ahead of the curse. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. Oh, isn't this like with the thumbnail? The promotional Mama image, like isn't that like it. a dandelion? Is that she the started word? getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. <sighs> oh no. She got better for a while. Oh, she didn't. Sad. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. That's scary. Oh, I would I be. I found out about you. 
100% feel like the family was cursed. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Mm. Oh. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Mm. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. Oof, that's so I weird. I guess if you're reading this now. Things didn't work out that way. It's such a weird thought that... That baby's gonna be born and there's just no family. Just your this mom. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. Oh, it didn't flash forward. I want forward. you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance oh. to be here at all. Good luck. Uh, oh no, she got buried with the... Did Don end up getting buried at the family graveyard? She died in childbirth. I don't know. I don't... I don't think she would. Unless she has it in her will that she wants to be buried there. Oh, sad. I can't imagine her being buried there though, if the mother was so against the house. Did we see Don's grave at the graveyard? There were so many names. <laughs> yeah, it's so sad. It's really good storytelling. And just, God, again, just amazing gameplay. The fact that there's like, every story has like almost its own like little unique gameplay mechanic or its unique like artistry to it so amazing this is based on some relative life events i i don't think so that would be quite the odds of that happening to a whole family <laughs> i don't think so what happened to Milton though? Yeah! I I don't know why, but for some reason... Shows you how little I remember of this game. But for some reason I thought that we were gonna find Milton's body in the walls somewhere. I really thought that... We were just gonna find him somewhere and be like, oh god. And that was like the twist for the game. He was never found, no. He drew his own disappearance and then just was gone. What happened to Grandma? She was really old though, and the uh, mom did say that she wasn't supposed to drink with her medicine. Like the combination was really bad, so I think the grandma probably just had a bunch to drink. Um, and then there was no one who could help her out that night, because the mom and daughter were gone. How did they become cursed? My theory is Odin made a deal with the devil for riches. <laughs> I don't think we know. 